Okay, here's Aeon Online, open beta week, September 10th. Gameplay as Modian Sorcerer and some something. Cool. Black Phoenix Rising, that's your guild. Yeah. Okay, now we have the video. So this is a sorcerer, it's one of the mage classes. Um, at 10 you either split off into a sorcerer or you become a spirit master. Which is the only pet class in the game. It's basically like a, um, uh, a electronic warfare type of a person. And the sort that I'm playing is a uh, damage dealer. How does the, uh, oh, kick-ass wings. Yeah, they get more extravagant as you um, level too. What do you want? Off with you. This is a level 16 area. I didn't do any lower level stuff because there's like crap loads of videos already on YouTube. Oh, this is you. This is me. Uh, how did you do this? With traps. Yeah, I was trying to kill that um, golem, and uh, that I didn't realize that cute little frog was going to start attacking me. I was like, what the hell? So are you doing combos, or these individual spells? They're combos. You can see my combos pop up um, right to the right of my character when they come up. When the combo comes up, I push the same button that I pushed to for the one to start the combo. So I don't have, that's why I don't have very much of my um, hot bars because they don't really they don't need a lot of uh, hot bar space because the spell will automatically pop into the spot that I was casting. Like when you see me do the ice bolt and then I do another one where I kind of go Rah! and I push and it pushes it back, that's a combo. Oh, you've got disengage like a hunter. Well, yeah, it's more of a blink, but it, like a mage. But instead of blinking forward, which is kind of stupid, you bink, blink backwards away from the mob, which is really, really handy. Hello, I've been waiting. Kind of didn't read quests. Fuzzy bunny, Donnie Darko. Yeah, I was just kind of going through quick, just quick stuff because I, you know. Everybody doesn't need to see me read the quest, so... Stuck on a log. Yeah. Do you need something? This is a, there's a lot of different kinds of mobs in the game, too. They didn't just, like, repeat models over and over again. Some pretty interesting yeah. things. Yeah, that was a big thing with WoW. I get tired of killing the same thing over and over. A little variety is nice. You'd be standing in an area, and there'll be like anywhere from 10 to 20 different kinds of weeds growing and trees growing. I mean, it's they did a really good job with the landscape. How does the uh, armor repair? There's really not any armor repair. When you die, you get soul damage, which takes a little bit of your XP away and uh, makes you run really slow. You get kind of a res sickness, and then you just go to a spirit healer and pay for it. It's not really too bad. Um, you make a lot of money in the game, so it, it's not too bad. But it does get expensive, a little bit more expensive the, um, the higher the level you are, but it doesn't get more expensive because you have nicer gear on. Put it that way, so that's kind of nice. So it doesn't scale like 
start off with a couple of copper to repair and wind up spending 100 gold a day. Right. Nice columns. Hey, the architecture is really, really good, and there's a whole lot of different styles. What's your uh, frame rate like? Um, when I was doing this video, um, I had it set at 60 frames per second, but uh, I was getting up to 95 frames per second. Oh, and my ping... By the time they fixed all the lag issues, because there was a lot of lag issues in the beginning, but it wasn't a them, it was the places that they had the game routing through that were the bottlenecks. Once they got that all sorted out, I was getting like a 57 ping, so that's not too bad. Flight mechanics seem a little odd. Uh, they're, well, um, in this area you don't really fly, you can glide, and gliding is, yeah, it takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's pretty interesting. Nasmodians have the really cool black wing. Those are pimp, dude. Yeah, they add armor and jewels and stuff to it later on. This is an area here where um, a lot of players come to do group quests. Um, there's some pretty cool elite stuff in here to kill. And then there's like a coin quest that you turn two coins in and you get an um, item. So I ended up getting like a pair of really nice shoulder pads out of here. Like uh, badges. Okay. And see, you can see, and the ambient sounds are really cool. It's like you can hear the um, that thing fl flapping and chains kind of going against wood. It's kind of cool. And that's the other side of the world where the other people live. Because you're basically. Yeah, I'll you're in a big back. Dyson Sphere is what you're in. Actually, can we change the channel stuff? How does uh, PvP work in this? PvP's a lot of fun. Um, I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to. Actually, Vladdy did more than me, but... Um, the PvP is pretty cool. Um, it's basically PvPvE. There's a lot of PvE stuff out in the abyss, but there's also PvP. It kind of works like being in a, um, in a, uh, a PvP server in WoW. There's no flagging. You're always flagged. Oh. What's the guy killing with you? He's right one of our guild mates. He's a... Oh, uh, uh, He's a um, a rogue, which is really a kick-ass class. I played a rogue in closed beta, and it was pretty badass. Now, this is a group. We're doing what's called Black Claw Elite. It's like one of the first outdoor type of a dungeon area. And it's just a pug, but it was going pretty good. I mean, there's a spirit master, a assassin, which is a rogue, a um, chanter, which is kind of like a healer buffer, um, a... Uh, Templar, which is a tank, a um, uh, Barbarian thingy, which is like a tank slash damage dealer, and then we were also with a uh, Spirit Master, which is, he, that's, like, and then actually the guy has the pet, well, and here we were doing a little PvP, but I didn't have enough time to put more video in, so. I like how the characters actually scale. That's kind yeah. of interesting. Your spells scale, too. Like, when you first do your first fireball, it's just one fireball, but then now I'm shooting two fireballs, and then later on it becomes, like, three fireballs, and they kind of swirl through the air, and the spell effects are awesome. They're spot on. All the spell, pe spell effects are awesome. But anyway, that's... Yeah, just a little bit about Aeon.